And it's a call that officers say is becoming more common. They are known as fake kidnapping calls. Now, in these cases, no one is actually kidnapped, but families can find themselves shelling out money to thieves before they even realize that their loved one was safe the whole time. News 5's Clay Lapart explains. Some people have no morals, I guess. It just, how do you do that to somebody? It's a call Carolyn of Brook Park will never forget. The moment someone called her cell phone about two weeks ago and told her they kidnapped her adult daughter who works as an Amazon Flex delivery driver. Ma'am, I need you to listen to me. Your daughter's okay. But uh, first, I want to be honest with you. I'm in the drug cartel and um, your daughter was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Over the next two hours, Carolyn says she stayed on the phone with the would be kidnappers, listening to a woman's voice crying in the background and following that caller's instructions. That took her to the Steelyard Walmart, where she says she wired nearly $1,000 to an account in Mexico. In hindsight, it should click in, but when it's happening, it's just so frightening and um, debilitating. You, all you're thinking about is your child. In the end, Carolyn hung up with the caller and then quickly learned her daughter was safe at home the whole time. For Brook Park Police, Carolyn's case becomes just the latest in this growing trend. A trend originating from spoofed callers pretending to be local. 90% of them are probably outside the United States. Almost exactly one year ago, News 5 reported on a similar call a North Canton family received. As a parent to have your heart ripped out like that, it is just unbelievable painful. One of about five reported in Stark County during a stretch of two weeks back in 2021. It's hard to believe that somebody would do something like that to others. For Patrolman George Kazakowski with God. Brook Park Police, he says if you get a call like this, take a moment to pause and take a step back to look at the situation. Typically, you know it's a scam if somebody's asking for a wire transfer, prepaid gift cards or prepaid money cards. For Carolyn, she hopes her experience can be a lesson to others. Just to be cautious that, you know, old people aren't the only ones being scammed. You know, they're they're preying on young people, you know, that have children. In Cuyahoga County, Clay Lepard, News 5. And a new survey from AARP finds the top scams currently involving older adults are urgent phone calls, emails, texts, or social media messages. That survey also found nearly 20% of caregivers report their loved one has lost money to a scam. 52% of those victims lost $1,000 or more. Now to help, experts say caregivers should ask questions if they see some warning signs. If someone loses money, file a report with police and freeze any account that has been compromised.